Yo, what's going on to anybody listening to this? There's one thing I want to say that could truly lead to you becoming a much more successful person than what you believe you are able to. And the thing is, you just need to be harder on yourself, really. That's one of the easiest ways I've found in the last two years. I've been able to pr- improve myself massively in all areas of my life. It's just purely just to be harder on myself, really. You know, when you're sitting there in the morning, you're feeling cold, you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to get up today. My my bed is feeling very nice and warm and I'm very tired and I could just sit back and relax for 10 more minutes because, you know, I'll, it feels nice and warm and, you know, you just need to, to be honest, you just need to be harder on yourself. You need to tell yourself, look, mate, you're just a pussy ass little bitch in the most nice way or not not in the most nice way possible in the most rudest way possible that's what you are and you just need to get up off your ass and get to work you know that's the truth that's the truth to being successful that's how all these successful people have been able to get to where they are because they have that voice in their head that is truly harsh on themselves in all periods of the day and this voice comes with them from morning till night and it helps them to able to execute task after task throughout their day you know from the morning I wake up my that voice is already in my head I know everybody has this voice in their head that's telling them you know like you're not doing good enough you're not you need to be doing this you need to be doing that but I think the difference between successful people people who are becoming successful who might be successful and people who are just failures is they don't have that as strong of a voice in their head and I'm I'm not sure if it's something that you're able to train I think it is because that voice in my head over the last couple years has gotten a lot stronger and stronger and it's still to this day to this year it keeps getting stronger and stronger and I know uh, sometimes it can be quite like harsh like you can you can feel bad for a, a good portion of the day, but though for that period of the day, it's when you're doing fuck all and you're you're really not uh, achieving the tasks that you've set out to achieve, you know. And if you have that voice in your head that is gonna make you stay on track and keep doing the tasks that you need to do, you know, it's gonna help you do better and better. And you know that voice carries with me throughout work while I'm working, after work, you know. My typical day, I wake up at 5.30, I I make my bed, that's the first thing everybody should do in the morning if you want a good start to your day, and then I have a smoothie, I read while, I'm have, while I have my smoothie, and then I go to work, I start work at 6.45, I finish about 4 to 5, you know, and then when I get home, I'm only left with about 5 hours of my day, so I need that voice in my head to make sure I'm achieving the most I can out of my day. Because time is the most important thing for success. Time is the most important thing. You need to use your time effectively. If you don't use your time effectively, you're not going to be able to achieve all these high goals you know you want. You want to learn a new language. You want to get rich. You want to start a business, maybe an online business. You know, you want to learn these skills. You have to devote the time and you need time to be able to do that, which is something I wish I had more of. I consistently wish I had more time because... Right now I'm learning Spanish, I, I'm actively reading, I'm trying to read for one hour per day, you know, I'm studying on the course that I'm also doing, Electrical Apprentice, um, you know, there's, in, in that time in my day too, I have to eat, you know, I have to shower, these things take up time, you need to try and be more effective with getting onto these tasks and not this like, five minutes, oh, I've just had a shower, let me just watch some TikTok before I'm eating, you know, that's, that's why I had to get rid of all social media addictive habits, because it kills your productivity, and it kills your time in your day, it just absolutely destroys it, it's these five, ten minute, fifteen minute periods in between you doing each individual tasks that add up, you know, to consuming your whole evening, you know, you have to get rid of that and you need to be have that voice in your head always active you know it's easy to go on autopilot through the day especially when you're going through your weekly schedule you know you have to 
get that voice in your head to keep you on track to achieving the goals that you want to achieve, you know. I'm trying to learn Spanish. I'm trying to become fluent in Spanish, and it's going to take years. I know it's going to take years, and I'm probably going to have to stay in an overseas country that speaks that they where they speak Spanish for me to actually truly be able to reach that level, and you know, to get a good head start towards that, I need to be doing things every day that promote this learning. You know, it has to be a habit that you develop, otherwise you're never really going to achieve it because goals like these, these big high level skills and attributes you want to achieve towards yourself, they take, you know, daily work slowly, which add up in a grand scheme to achieve, you know, what you want to achieve. Like you don't just go and study 12 hours on a Sunday and you're, you know, fluent in a language. It takes a long period of time to learn this. And, you know, there's all sorts of skills that um have the same you know, the same thing, like, if you want to learn sales, if you want to learn, you know, how to run a business, you know, they all require learning these skills, and you have to put the time and effort, I mean, right now, I'm trying to learn the skill of making YouTube videos, I'm trying to learn how to talk on a camera, and I'm devoting the time, even though I'm not the best, I'm, I'm honestly very awful at it, you know, but watching these videos and making these videos after 100 videos, 200 videos, maybe I will have improved, you know, quite a significant amount, that's my goal, I make these videos, I look back on it, I reflect on where I'm at, what I'm doing, how I can improve myself to be a better person, you know, in all attributes of making a video, and as a person, I'm able to reflect on where I was at this point, and make sure I'm seeing progress, because progress is important, you're never going to reach your goal if you're not making progress, you know, so each video that I make, I'm trying to improve one thing per video, so after I've done 100 videos, if I'm able to improve on 100 things, I should see a massive jump in the quality, and I'm not just trying to do it to make money, as most people nowadays are trying to, honestly, I genuinely enjoy this, I made one video, I made one video prior to this, and it was about 26 minutes long, and honestly, it was so enjoyable for some reason just to sit there and like talk to a camera for me I find it actually quite interesting I don't know there's something about it that just gets me going I'm I'm very interested in learning learning new things you know as a, as a as a young person when I was a kid well, I'm still I'm still a young person but when I was a kid I honestly hated reading, I hated English, I enjoyed learning subjects, you know, I loved maths, I loved science, I loved those subjects, you know, but I always, it always just felt sort of forced in school, you're just forced to learn everything, I feel like once you leave school, and you sort of have that freedom, I found that I actually really enjoy learning about things, like anything, you know, I read books on different topics, Right now I'm reading, I'm about to finish Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. I talked about it in my previous video briefly. I'm just about to finish that. And, you know, you're able to acquire these these little these little pieces of knowledge which slowly build in your head. You know, you've got all these different types of books that they slowly put pieces of, into your head which over ye- periods of years, you know, you start to you know, increase your, your ability in every sort of aspect of life, you know, your vocabulary, your speaking ability, your knowledge, the way you're able to just talk to people, you know, it makes you just seem sharper, you know, you see people like Iban Gadzi, I know a lot of people might not like him, they might think he's a con artist, but you cannot deny his, his etiquette, his class, you know, the way he's able to talk, you know, you can tell that he has devoted a lot of time into self-improvement. He started super young. You know, I've only been doing this for about maybe a year, year and a half. You know, I've seen a good improvement from where I was at. You know, you can't look at these people and take where they are now. He's 23, and I can't just compare myself to him. You know, he started at a different period in his life. You know, everyone's different. Everyone starts at different periods of time in their life. And, you know, you just have to see where you are when you start and just keep trying to improve on yourself. Don't worry about where other people are in their journey. You know, everyone is at different points. You need to 
focus on where you are at in your journey and just try to keep improving every day if you improve every day and you're getting better every day you know you will truly see see massive success even within a year a year i was able to change myself so drastically the person i was one year prior to this i was i was way skinnier way more insecure person somehow my talking ability was worse than it is now i'm not sure how that was even possible how that would even look for myself talking on a camera but i'm glad i didn't because well maybe I, maybe i'm not glad that i did it maybe it would have been nice to see how far i've come but that's why i'm recording now so a year from now when i've seen hopefully that same level of improvement if i keep working hard and i keep seeing discipline i'm going to see massive results you know as a person and it'll be cool for anybody in the public to see to use it for themselves as evidence to see why you can improve and why you just need to stick any average person, you know, to anybody on the internet, I'm just an average person, you know, just working a job, just trying to better myself every day, you know, maybe that's not average nowadays, but in history, that's a pretty normal thing to be doing, so, but um, I'm trying to, once I track that progress and I'm able to see other people Hopefully that gives other people inspiration to keep going and to keep learning because, you know, everyone can succeed, you know, everyone beca can become better. Ridding yourself of, get, getting rid of social media from your lives, maybe not entirely, I still have Instagram, but I, I don't really use it, I just use it to message friends and stuff like that, keep up to date with people, but um, if you just let the dopamine depleting activities on these social medias just seep into your life and you're spending hours a day you're just going to be miserable you're going to be depressed you know the ultimate the whole point of this is to get fulfillment in your life and to obtain true happiness and to get true goals because i feel like at the end of the day as humans to be truly happy you need to just be rid of these modern you know technological things that are seem to just be decaying your brain and you know just basic things like having a family you know is what truly makes most people happy in life i would say if you look in history 99 percent of people you know what just makes them truly happy is being able to have a family have kids and give your kids the best life that they can have to educate them you know that's one of the things i look forward to in my future is having kids and being able to teach them things you know being able to show them this video when they're old enough and for them to understand the journey that i've been through and to be able to look at videos over a long period of time you know 10 years imagine 10 years if i record a video every week to see my progress and to show this to my kids and then to see like wow you know he came from there he was that he was that guy like looking at me now in this video they will see like wow that's my dad he was that much of a pussy <laughs> what i mean that's sort of what they would say <laughs> maybe think looking back on that but um i think that would be great that would be hilarious and i think that if everyone did something like this it would truly affect their life and in a positive way you know you're able to truly reflect on who you are and you know to come back to the point of this video is that you need that voice in your head to be hard on yourself, to, you know, because you need to work hard to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. I know anyone who's watching this, if anybody's listening to this, I know that you want to achieve something great in your life. I know you want to be better than what you are right now. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this. You wouldn't have gotten this far if you don't truly want to get better. And just know that you need to stick to what you're doing and you need to just see goals every day and you need to build up that little voice in your head that stops you from doing these negative things you know you need to get it out of your life to get true fulfillment and to achieve great things that you, i know you want to you know and yeah thanks for listening anybody everybody <laughs>